Good morning, everyone. We are off and running this morning. Um, I am looking at looking at items. This might be a Land's End one, and if it is, I will take this because these totes generally do pretty good. And I'm looking for a, a tag or something because usually the Land's End ones have tags. Um, let me see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yep, it is. It is. It, it is. Okay. And that'll clean up real easily. It's just a little, like, dusty, like it was sitting sitting somewhere. So this I will take, the Land's End tote. Um, I did stop at the, cat, the Million Dollar Cabinet when I came in, and I grabbed this vintage Junie and Burke. I love this raspberry color. So that was an item I grabbed out of the case. Um, as usual, the purses here are $7.99, unless they've been marked up. So... The Land's End tote, I would expect it to be $7.99. They did mark up the Dooney and Burke. That one is um, $15. So I do know that that one has been marked up, but I'm kind of, I'm okay with that because honestly for $15, you can't, you can't really go wrong. Here's another tote. Um, oh, okay, that one's Victoria's Secrets. I was gonna say, I didn't think that one was gonna be, be um, Land's End also. So we have this little purse right here. I'm not really, I'm not thinking I need to take that. I do see some more like Victoria's Secrets and stuff. Samantha Brown, um, that looks, I've seen that before. These are like laptop bags and stuff like that. But last time I had one of those, it didn't go very, move very well. But here is, here's a brand new one. Oh, that is dusty. Um, definitely not a, a quality piece so we'll just we'll leave that one behind and we'll check yeah that doesn't feel very good either what is this one right here this must be a this looks like a Brighton and they've marked it at $13 um, you know sometimes I like the Mako croc and sometimes it does do a little bit better um, but I don't know for that price if it would be worth it. I guess condition would have something to do. But you know, we'll put that in since since we're just starting out today and we don't have anything in the cart. We'll we'll just start out with a few things and see what's gonna work. Now this is interesting. What is this? I, I think this is this handmade. It's made from a boot. I do think it's handmade. Um, the stitching isn't great on it. Um, it's definitely not a maker of any kind, but yeah, this is, these are two, uh, the boot halves. Um, okay. So we'll put that right back up there. Somebody might get a kick out of that, but it's not exactly what I'm, I'm going to want for today. So then they have some other stuff down here and this coach bag has been here for a long time, but you can see the, the, it's totally worn off the, the, um, how do I put it? The signature. So like where it was black and brown, it's it's just brown now because it's been, it's been rubbed to nothing. Um, this is a universal thread purse. Um, I am thinking about the straw bags for spring and stuff like that, but that's not gonna be my not gonna be my favorite. This um, what is this one right here? This is a okay. I don't know what this brand is. What is this? It says. BPE or something, I still can't even read that tag. It's pretty though. I don't think it feels very good though. I, I do, I do, I can tell a lot by the way things feel and the weight. Um, so I do that a lot in case you were sometimes confused about, you know, what I was saying or what I meant. and. It does have it does have a lot to do with with items. See, this is a J Crew bag. This is adorable. Um, the strap is is it so it's canvas on one side, and it might be leather on the other. I'm not exactly positive, but um, I love the style of it. I'm gonna put it in and I'll I'll take a better look at it. Um, and then we have this funny geometric bag, but that is, that's really gonna, really lightweight. Come down here. Now, what is this? London Fog. 
I, I know London Fog doesn't sell for a lot, but I really do like the black and brown. It's, it's very, you know, kind of like elegant, kind of classic. Um, but nope, I'm not gonna get that one. And we do still, they still have a bunch of those purses that, that were dropped off here. What is this one? TRS. This is the Royal Standard Collection. Ooh, that feels bad. <laughs> For being the Royal Standard Collection, that did not have a very good feel to it. They still have this bag. I was going to take this last time I was here, but it's got, it's got a big old rip on the inside, so I had to leave it behind. So in case you're wondering, you know, why I left it, I really do have to go through items before I take them home because there's nothing worse than getting home and finding something that's completely ripped or broken and see this one is really cute too this is actually banana republic but it's missing the crossbody strap so i'm probably just going to leave that one behind i do like things to be complete when i grab them so let's see what else is down here they did put a bunch of stuff out, so I have to make sure and kind of check everything. This might be a coach. The print, yeah, it is, okay. I have sold a print like this that was a plaid, and it actually did very well. So this is like a purple print. They did mark it, they marked it up to $10. Um, Let me see how the inside, actually the, the inside is gray and it's nice and clean. The outside's too, it's like a purple and black and it has like a little bit of glitter, but I'm not really seeing any cleanup on it. And I love the little heart piece. So you know what, I think we might end up taking that. Um, you know, and I will, I will image search things to see, you know, if they're, if they're holding any value or anything like that, because you know, a lot of this stuff, if, if I don't look it over real good. Oh, and look at this. Oh, that is way cool. So this is just a coach um, ID holder that you can like either put it around your neck or something. That's kind of cool. I have i don't think I've ever had one of those. So, you know, like I said, you gotta, you gotta check these, these bins over here because you never know what's hiding in there. And yes, I do see the little Vera Bradleys and stuff, but that one is, um, that one looks a little dirty to me. So I'm gonna leave that one. And this is a Mundy. This is kind of interesting. Look at this little guy. He's got some velvet on him. Let me see if I can figure out how to open him. This might be a two-handed piece. Now, okay. Now I would not by any means say that is old. I do not believe this is old. I'm, I think it's meant to look old, but it's not old. And um, it's actually the quality isn't that great on it once once you pick it up and feel it. So just to let you know. So let's go around the other side. I'm a lot of fanny packs here today. We got some more Vera Bradley. These are these are a little bit dirty. That one's a little bit dirty too. I think the Vera Bradley. Sometimes I get it and it's it's just in really nice shape. What is this one? This one is the limited. Okay. What is this piece right here? I'm still trying to figure out how to open it. Okay, well this is interesting. No, I think I'm gonna leave that behind. I'm having a hard time even figuring out like what it is. So we'll come down here and look at these two. Nope, nothing in there. Let's hit this side. Ah, here's a Grateful Dead um, belt, right? That it might be that might have something on it. So we'll we'll stick the Grateful Dead belt in in the in the cart, or at least we'll try to. Keeps keeps falling out on me. We have a Liz Claiborne. That's you know that's pretty. I do. Oh, you know honestly, it looks brand new, but I don't think. Oh, it still has the tags on it. Okay. You know what, I might take this just because it is brand new and I like the colors on it. 
I know the value is not going to be very good, but as I've told you guys before here, the sign's tilted. Um, the wallets, clutches, and cosmetics bags here are $4. So, you know, sometimes it makes sense. I do see a little Samsonite camera bag. Um, oh, this is pretty. This is one of those sacks, but once again, it's missing the straps. I don't like to buy things when they're missing pieces and and I like the color but I'm just I, I can't I don't like things when they're missing pieces so we're just gonna leave that right there and we'll come around this last size last side sorry I'm trying to get my words out here it's quiet in here no one's in here so I that's kind of my favorite time because that means I can kind of bumble around and you know, my knocks and stuff over. So it's kind of good for me to have have a little extra room in here. These are Vionics. Um, these are really cute. I think these are just regular price. I don't know. Um, so I think I will take, I think I will take those and put those in. We'll, we'll look to see how those do. It's always, always good when I get a day where I don't have to clean up a, a bunch of stuff. So, so far it looks like I have like one item that definitely is going to need some cleaning. Um, here's some new balances. These are nice. They've marked them up to 15 though. And I don't think that with eBay fees and shipping and all that, I don't think that's going to be a good pickup for me. Here's a pair of Nikes. Those are, those are okay. They're, they are kind of dirty. The orange might be ripping. They're definitely authentic though, but I think, I think I'm going to leave those behind. They're, they're dirty. But they definitely got some new men's shoes up here. And I, I know if, if, if it's got a name on it, I definitely will check. Here's a pair of Merrells, but they're ripped in the back. Those have no insides to them some sketchers. Yeah, they didn't really get much in the men's over here, did they? Nope. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the next aisle. These are these red Nikes. These I like. What are these? Gobi. I've never heard of it, but this is kind of an interesting shoe. You know what? It's kind of unique. It's kind of got a Dia de Muertos, Day of the Dead look to it. So I'm going to put that in and we will definitely look those up and see. Um, they mark these Nikes up to 15, but they're just, they're not, they're not speaking to me. And the pink vans, those are, those are pretty worn. So let's go ahead and we'll go down here and we'll start on this end. That way someone else can have the other aisle to themselves. And we'll just start down here with all the, the shoes. Looks like those are some Crocs. These look like these would be Dolce Vitas. They are, and you know what? These would probably be a good buy knowing that they didn't mark them up going into summer. Um, and they actually look, I mean, they look like they've barely been worn. They're, they're high though. They're definitely very high espadrilles, but you know what? I think I will put those in and um, double check those because, you know, like I said, certain brands sell well and we are going to start, you know, warming up and people are going to start looking for that type of stuff. These are, these are actually Nautica. Um, I don't see Nautica shoes that often. So, all right, let's go ahead and come over here. These are box. Those are really cute, but the backs are all black. Okay. Here's another pair of Nikes. Yeah, those are pretty worn out too. Oh, the Ralph, well, something happened to that. That's orange on the heel. Okay, that doesn't look very good. 
What are these? What are those? Oh, that's forever. Those are Forever 21. I wouldn't have guessed that. Just keep on looking. So far, I haven't grabbed anything wow over here yet. And I could tell they have definitely filled it back up. It was the other day, it was looking a little bare. I hope the music's not too loud. Sometimes that can uh, rock and candy. Sometimes that can cause um, an issue for me. Oh, these are great. Look at these bionics. These are little, um, these are little um, penny loafers. I like that. And the beige, little like nice deck shoes, nice insoles. I think we'll put those in the cart. Now, what are these? No, those are one of those generic pairs. What are these down here? Those are actually Lucky Brands. Mm, they're okay, they're not my favorite. What about these ones next to it? These say Bell. Now these look like a European brand to me, but I can definitely, no, there's just too much wear on that. Now what about these right here? Those are Earth. I think I've picked those up before. All right, let's go around the other side. We've got some lollipops up there. I do see the lollipops. What are these? Macalu, California. Okay. What are these? Nope, those, look at, look at how the, there's completely coming out of the shoe right there. That's odd. What about these right here? Now, what are these say on them? I can't even read the, the tag on them, but I like the, I like the bone color. These are made in Italy, but I really, I like the color of them. Um, they don't really have a lot of wear on them. So I'm going to put these in the cart. I mean, I still have to check for damage and buckles and all that, but I'm going to put those in the cart just because I, I do like the way that those look. These are some, are these some, yeah, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. S-E-Y-C-H-E-L-L-E-S, Seichels. I know that they used to sell this brand at um, Anthropology. I, you know, I've I've picked it up a few times. I know it's they're not a it's not a cheap shoe. Um, it's cute though. I do like the color, but I would say it's it's a little more worn than maybe what I would what I want for today. So we'll turn around and we'll check out the other side. These are some borns. Those are like a red color, but they're just, they're definitely worn. Um, what are these? Okay, these are Weijins, which I believe is part of Rock, or no, these are actually GH Bass. Those are really pretty, though. Uh, they're very pretty, but I know that Bass shoes aren't going to aren't gonna do much. All right, I think we're gonna go ahead and, these are actually Dr. Scholl's. Oh, let's go, you know what, let's go look for some carts in the back. We did find some nice pieces today. Um, and you know, obviously with a little of the review, um, and some of you have mentioned before that, you know, by the time I get my card, it seems like I get rid of a lot of stuff, and that's very true. When you do this, you have to be very aware of what you're buying because what happens is, is you get down to the end. And I'm looking at something. Oh, that's really pretty. When you get down to, 
that is adorable. Look at this. It's like a little sweater overall. It's actually Zara. That is really cute. That's adorable. And what is this one? I think the one behind it is Athleta. I, I don't know if Athleta dresses do very well, but it is pretty. It's, it's definitely a very small one, though. It's got the inserted bra on in it, so you don't have to wear um, anything under it. That's really pretty. I don't know if Athleta dresses are any good. You know, let's just put it in. You know, like I said, I've been a little more open to looking at clothes recently than, than I've ever been. Um, so, you know, as long, I guess as long as I'm selective about, like, what I take. Um, I won't do it all the time, though, and, and the biggest reason is, is because of space. Um, I already have a very large storage unit that is completely filled with tubs, and I really do not want to have to, you know, purchase another storage unit just to keep um, the eBay stuff. When you have a large eBay store, you, you just cannot keep it at the house. Um, it would take up a, a huge amount of space. It, it's a very, it's very nice keeping it outside of the house. That way you, it's not creeping up on you all the time. Um, and that's just the way I've kind of done it for a while. So for those of you wondering, you know, where, where everything goes, um, we keep it in a storage unit. So, and it's close to the house. So I just run over there in the mornings when I need to get my items to ship. And I, that's how I do it. I just grab my items and, and then away I go. I always look at the books. Sometimes you see some great, um, what is this? Now see, this is very worn to me, but it's kind of a, it's the Jimi Hendrix experience. It's a purple velvet box. The box is pretty worn, but everything on the inside looks pretty good. It's from the year 2000, so it's already 20 something years old. You know what, I'll put that in and look. I doubt it has, has much, um, much value, but we'll, we'll put it in. We got the Grapes of Wrath over here, Sherlock Holmes. We do get a lot of historical books here. Maybe that's one reason I do stop and look at the books more. We do have, this is, um, this is a very large community of, uh, we have a lot of retired people here. So um, yes, I, I really do look at the books because they, they will, They'll donate some beautiful things. I mean, it's it's always surprising to me some of the things that get donated. But you know, that's just the way you you do it. Is you you know when you're done with it, you just you donate it. So, well, now what is this? Oh, that's really cute. Look at the Harry Potter mug. That's adorable. I don't think I've ever seen one like that. Oh, look at the elephant. This is World Market. Oh, it's got chips in it. Look at that. That's too bad. That's really sweet. I hope I'm holding the camera at the right angle. Sometimes it's a little hard when I got something in one hand and I'm trying to balance out. But I'm going to put the Harry Potter in and we'll see. We'll see if that's any good. Somebody's got some binoculars there. We do. I do see. I do see something down at the bottom. I got to grab though. Let's see what it looks like. Bergmont Waters. I knew that was a white barn candle, so I kind of stopped. And then I saw the the, the old um, hosiery. And sometimes the old hosiery can do well. Look at this. Somebody made a decant, made a lamp out of an old decanter. I know the decanter's not that old, though, because the seams on it on the side are very heavy. So it's pretty, but not what I not what I'd like. So I think we'll just come down here. This is a moon lamp right there. I think this is um, some kind of thermo thermometer or something, thermopen. But, um, you know, there's a lot of medical equipment you just can't sell on, you can't sell on eBay. So I do tend to just leave a lot of that stuff. But here's another cart right here. All these carts have been put out and, and I can tell you there's not enough people in here so nobody's touched them. So I'm gonna grab, oh, this just came from Ross, but look how pretty that is. 
that's that's pretty but the this is from china i can tell the bottom is not polished it's big it's really a nice one but i think i will just leave that there there's one of those beautiful wine press uh wine opener stations okay, more than shapes shishibos and then, i know these are toys well they're they're like you know little things where you make the different signs oh, do you see Harry Potter. You know what? I'm going to grab these. The reason I'm grabbing these is these have the tags on them. And I can tell you that the original tags were like $15 on these. Yeah, the original tags were $15 and they do look a little bit older. Um, so, you know what? We'll toss those in the cart too. And I think this is one also. Yep, yeah, here's a little purple one. So, I mean, these would be so easy to ship. So we'll, we'll toss those in the cart. There's some basketball. That's kind of cute too, the Christmas tree. I can see there's some more Star Wars. There's a bunch of collectibles in this cart. Um, Pro Yak Tracks. Interesting. I don't, I've never done something like that, but we'll, we'll just leave these. There's a couple pairs of them, actually. All right, so we'll toss these in, too. Mm -hmm. Well, believe it or not, we're, we're getting a pretty full cart. And, and what are these? Star Wars. Okay, you know what? I'm going to grab that just because I don't know what they are. I thought they were, cu they were cups at first, but they're not. Darth Vader Mighty Mugs. When did these come out? They're made by Hasbro. Okay, so they're made by Hasbro. You know what? I'm gonna take these. These are kind of different. I guess you press down on their heads and um, the face is turned. So let's, let's take a quick look at that so you can see what it looks like here. So if I press down on the head, his face turns. Okay, that's an interesting one. That's a new one. So here we are, mugs. Oh, that's cute. I like this one too. Did you guys see the I Love Lucy? I don't know if that would be a great collectible, but I do like I do like that one. That's kind of cute. I'll put that in also. So I'm glad to see, like, since the last time I was here, they've done they've done quite a bit of restocking, which is nice. Mrs. Claus, okay. All right, got some dishware. You guys wanna look at the, the hard goods. I'm trying to do better about giving you guys different items. Oh, something smells good. I think I said that last time I was on this aisle. So somebody must have had a candle or something because something does smell good on this aisle. All right. Seems like most of this hasn't changed. Oh, this is looking pretty much the same. These are kind of cute. What are these? Don't know. I know that's Temptations at the bottom. Once in a while, I'll grab Temptations, but there's, there's just so much of it. This is Blue by ADT. What is this? Sorry, I, this caught my eye. I gotta grab this and look. I don't know what that does. It must, it's part of, obviously, probably part of a security system. Pearl gray. Okay, some kind of extender. I'm gonna put that back just because that's one of those things that, you know, probably needs to be tested and I don't have the ability to do that. So we'll just come and look at all the Christmas stuff. That one's pretty. This one looks like it might be like a Lennox or something. No, it's actually a Mikasa. I think that one's it. So we'll just come around and look at all this stuff too. I did look at some of these ornaments last time I was here and there, some of them are still here. 
Um, I did grab the ones. I did look them up before I left. And I, you saw that in my one of my recaps, I took only a couple things. Oh, look at this. I don't think this is... Uh, too bad it's not new. That would be cute. Latchuk rugs. I like the home ec stuff. So... I guess you trim your dog at home. This would give my husband nightmares. <laughs> we tried it once to, to groom the dogs and found out that we will pay you to groom our dogs. <laughs> so it's kind of a, an inside joke at our house, but yes. We are not pet groomers by any means. So just to let you know, that was not a pretty day. I do see all these, um, all of these, um, oh, these are the Food Network. Okay, so that's probably like a Walmart, but I did see that set of them. But let's go ahead and over here and, oh, that's cute. It is a Turvis. You know what? I'm going to take this. This, this might be good, honestly, and I'm a huge Peanuts fan, but it's also a Turvis. So I will check that out also. So here we are in the toy aisle, and you know, of course, I'm looking for things that haven't been opened. Oh, what's this one? Ah, oh, and I found one. What is this? Card Scramble. Never heard of it, but it's not open, and you know, I might have to put that in. And then I saw something up here, too. Um, this box looks a little bit more worn than I would like. It's not expensive, but for some reason, why does this, 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 even this game must be older. Yeah, this is the 1999 Monopoly. You know what, I'm kind of tempted. Every once in a while, it is nice to just sit down and play a game. I'm gonna put that in the cart. I'm looking for toys and things like that. That's one of those fake cabbage patches. So is that. Oh, here's Yogi Bear, I think. Is that Yogi? No, it's not Yogi. I thought it was Yogi Bear for a second. We got our Squishmallows. It's a hamburger. The hamburger. Um... I do see the costume, I see the Han Solo costume, but like I said, without knowing if that stuff is new, I don't like to go through costumes. So I think we will just go this way. Let's go this way. So, I think we can make one more run over here by this side before I start um, doing my, my quality control check here. <laughs> That's usually the longest part of the day because I really do spend a lot of time looking over the items. I did want to check to see if they put anything on these end caps over here. You know what, we didn't go down the green aisle. Let's go down the green aisle. They do try to keep the aisles like this side is pink and this side is green. That's kind of a cute bell jar. It's got a, an eagle on it. It is a ball jar, and a ball jar with an eagle on it. Huh, well, I'm gonna drop this in the cart too. This is not something I'm familiar with. I didn't know ball made um, jars that had, you know, different designs on them, but yeah, you know, like I said, you never know when you pick something up. I mean, I've picked up things that are completely nondescript. You wouldn't have any idea. And then next thing you know, you find out the value and you went, you go, oh, it's, you know, there's always pieces that surprise me. It's, it happens all the time. I like this candle. This is an acorn. Um, actually, it's not a candle. It's just a jar. It might've been a candle at one point, but um, now it's just the jar. We got some Walmart candles. All right, I think I'm good. I think I'm going to literally go and do my, my check and see that things are, you know, in one piece. And I will come back later and show you everything that I got. All right, I'll see you soon. 
Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick recap. This was a huge haul at the Goodwill for me. I pretty much, everything that landed in the basket pretty much came home with me and a few extras because they rolled out a cart as I was in line and I looked over and I saw a couple things. I got out of line, I ran over to the cart and grabbed a few more things. So don't be surprised with my crazy today. It, it, it might be a little all over the place. So I'm gonna start with, I spent $141 at the Goodwill today. I got a lot of stuff. It really, it really was a lot of stuff. Okay, so I'll start over here with the Dolce Vita. Um, these are a pair of espadrilles. They look like they were barely worn, so I did grab those. I got another pair of Finn Comforts. Um, I did get a pair of, um, these are like Easy Spirit nursing shoes. I love the pattern on them, the uh, black, white, and gray. I did get a few mugs today. I got the um, Lucy and Ethel. You know, because I just, those two are just so funny. And then I also got uh, a Harry Potter mug. Um, I also got a, a Tervis. Um, and I mean, it pretty much looks brand new. I don't think there's any wear on this at all, but I just love the Charlie Brown and Snoopy. So I did grab that. Um, I also grabbed this blue bell jar. The reason I grabbed it, it was $2.99. I grabbed it because the Eagle ones are not you know, as, as prevalent as some of their originals. So this is kind of more of a specialty one. So I did grab that. Um, I also grabbed a pair, uh, a, I found a Grateful Dead belt. You don't see these very often. Um, Grateful Dead stuff, depending on who the maker was, can really do well. Um, I don't know who the maker is on this. I'll do a little research, but for the $4, it was kind of just worth picking it up. I also got a brown bright Brighton purse a pair of New Balance uh, men's shoes. I got a pair of Cole Hans, like a little fossil bag. I also got a little Coach ID um, lanyard. This is just so nice looking and it looks brand new. So I did get that. I got another little Coach purse. Um, I did get a, I believe that was a J, J. Crew and it's leather, like a little like, um, briefcase bag. I got the snowflake. That'll go to my booth. I did get a couple of games. I got Connect Four. I also got Twister. I got a beautiful uh, Dooney and Burke. This is the Verona line of purses. Um, I did grab one of those. I got my cute little kitty cat right there from Japan. Um, I also got three of these and they all have tags. Um, they're Harry Potter pygmies. Some are pink, some are purple, but I did grab those. I also got these Gobi um, Dias des Muertos, um, Day of the Dead type of, um, shoes. They look to be in really good condition. Um, they're made by Gobi, so I did grab those. I got a pair of, uh, Vionics, little pe penny loafer type shoes, really nice condition. Um, I really liked these. I'm not sure, um, too much about, I, I, it says, it says La Artisano Lucchese, and they are made in Italy, but they're just a nice quality, so I did grab those. Um, so I think all in all that took care of, oh, and one more thing. I got this cause I just thought it was really cute. It's actually made by Zara. It is a sweater and I, I know kind of funny looking. It's a sweater overall dress. I just thought this was really cute. It's like a, a real light blue denim color. And this was made by Zara. Um, so I did grab this also. My total spend today at the Goodwill was $141. That's a pretty good day, um, you know, and a lot of this stuff doesn't need any work, which is so nice. I mean, when you can buy stuff and you don't have to do anything to it, that's a really good day for me. I have a friend who cleans out storage units and he doesn't like to be on camera. So um, I went over there the other day and he had stuff laid out. It's funny because he actually uses the storage units at the facility to like display the merchandise. So when I got there, everything was kind of like laid out. So I got a, I got a few purses. I got some video game consoles. I got some video games. I got a camera. I got shoes. Um, I got a bunch of random different stuff. Obviously, you know, I have to test, I have to test some of it. You know, I have to clean some of it. I have already started listing pieces of it. Um, so I'm gonna start right over here. There was one purse that um, that I that I got that it just, when I got home, it just didn't look very good. So I did, um, 
I did go ahead and just toss that one because it had some corner issues. But this is um, a Kato purse. Um, not a huge amount of value, but it's clean. Um, I also got a um, coach bag. Uh, so all in all, um, you know, when I looked at everything that I had bought and everything that um, I got, I spent $40. So I will try to kind of break it down, even though obviously I bought it as like a bulk deal. Um, I spent, you know, basically 40. So, you know, if, if I, if I looked at it as a breakdown, I could say I spent like $10 each on the game consoles. Um, you know, and that's already $20 of it. And then, you know, basically if I wanted to say I spent like $5 a purse. Um, so I did get a coach. I got a beautiful, beautiful, um, yellow Dooney and Burke. Um, you know, it's got a little bit of wear on the corners, but the inside is very clean. Um, I did get a, uh, Samsung camera with a case. Um, I've got to put batteries in. I still have to test it. You know, there's things that go along with storage units that, you know, when you get the stuff, you kind of have to weed through the good stuff and figure it out. Um, this one I have not tested. I haven't opened it. I, I still need like a piece of the, um, I have the brick, but I need the cord that plugs into the wall. So I will open it and see if there's any games. Um, I did get a few video games. In fact, I probably should go back over there because I'm sure there's probably more um, in the boxes with the DVDs and stuff because they were all kind of mixed in. Um, two of the video games that I got already, I got Ratchet and Clank and I also got um, a wrestling um, video game and both of those sold. I listed them yesterday, they sold. I figured I paid a dollar a piece for those. Um, so those, um, those sold right away. And then I still have a few more video games. I think what's gonna happen is I will bulk those with with the machines when I find out what machines are going to be working. Um, I did get this really nice pair of guests, like little, um, ankle, like, you know, faux fur, uh, booties. Um, they're, they're, I mean, they look brand new. I also got a pair of men's, uh, vans. They're, um, the dark blue, the old school. I got a pair of Alexis Bidel, um, you know, blue slip-ons. Um, I also got a pair of, um, Arizona large faux fur, you know, Sherpa type of booties also. Um, I must have already taken them over to the storage unit. I didn't mean to, but I think I probably did. So those are also listed um, in my store. Um, so, you know, all in all, for $40, I just, I can't, I can't, you know, beat the stuff I, I find, you know, that he gives me. I have to go through everything a little bit more. And obviously there might be items that I find as I'm going through that might not, you know, be worth anything, but I figure, you know, most of this stuff has a little bit of value. So overall, you know, I'm thrilled when he calls me because I, I never know what I'm going to see. And, um, over the years he has given me great stuff. I mean, I have found some serious collectibles, you know, um, in those storage units that, you know, he, he cleans out. So, you know, all in all, that's what I did. There's my bonus. My, my extra uh, bonus for the week is, uh, my $40 storage unit. And, and the fact that, you know, I didn't even have to, I don't have to open the boxes. He has it already out on the tables and I just come in and, you know, take, take what, um, take what he has. And, and that's, all, that's all there is to it. So I just wanted to thank everybody for watching. And as usual, I appreciate it. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you soon. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.